We'll guide you through how to recover deleted messages on Messenger. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And let's get into this. The first thing you can try to do is go and check your archive. To go and do that, all you need to do is in Messenger is go to the top left and click on the three bars like this. And then you can go and click on archive. And then what you can do is look for your archive here. As you can see, I've only got one thing in here, so I can click on it. I can then go and look at it. I can scroll up um, and go and see what's in it. So you may have multiple, so go through there and go and see if that deleted message is included in the archive. For the second method, we need to go to Facebook in a web browser. So you can do this on your computer or your mobile device. So here we are, I'm on Facebook here. What you can do is just type in facebook.com like this and tap go and you'll be taken straight here. Then what you need to do is go to the top right and click on the three bars like this. And so then open up your Facebook menu, then scroll down and see see settings. You may need to expand set the settings and privacy section like this, then tap on settings and then scroll to the bottom of settings like this until you get to your information and click on download profile information. Because what we can do is download a copy of all our information from Facebook and go and see if that deleted message is in there because it may be. So click download profile information and then you have to press allow because we're getting a pop-up. I did this earlier just to show you for this guide, but in your case, you'll need to request a download. So click there and then you can choose the account. I'll do it for my Rob Robson account. And then you want to do complete copy and you can then choose a date range and the notification email and the format and the media quality. The main thing I recommend making sure is that the format is set to HTML as it's the most easy to read. And then all you need to do is go and click on submit and you'll then you need to wait. For me, it took around 10 to 20 minutes. It may take longer for you though or shorter. So yeah, once you've done that, then you need to wait. And if you come back to the download profile information and press allow, you can then go and see your available download once it's available. So then press download like this and you'll need to re-enter your password to download it. It will then download to your phone and this will vary a little bit depending if you're using an iOS device or an Android device. But what you'll need to do is go and close off Facebook or the website and then go to your files app and go to your downloads folder. If you're using an iPhone and the files app, click on browse in the bottom, then click on on my iPhone and then you can click on downloads. And then you should be able to go and find the zip file. Just click on it once and it will then unzip it and create a folder. You can click on that folder, scroll down and click on your activity across Facebook. And then you can go and click on messages and then you can press on inbox and then you can go and see all your different chats here. Now I've only got four um, different uh, chats or conversations here. You may have more or less. So I could then go and click on it like this and then click on the HTML and I can then go and see all of the messages. So it's worth checking these in case a deleted message is included in here. So yeah, that may take a bit of time to go through, but it is definitely worth trying. So I hope one of these methods did work for you. If they did, please go down below and consider leaving a like.